Hi guys, I'm finally back with a new video. If you don't know me, my name is Ryan, and for this video, we're gonna be making this cute ass little crochet froggy pouch. If you wanna learn how to make this little guy, just keep on watching. So to start, you're gonna need worsted weight yarn in green, black, and pink, and you're gonna need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now I'm starting with the arms and we're gonna start with a magic loop. If you've never done that before, I have a video down in the description or you can watch my bucket hat video. And for the arms, we're gonna put five single crochet into the loop. After you pull your loop tightly, all you need to do is single crochet your five stitches until the piece measures two and a half inches. Then when you're done, all you're gonna do is make a slip stitch and then cut the yarn. Uh, this tail doesn't need to be long because you don't need to sew it to anything. And obviously you're gonna have to repeat this because Foggy has two arms. Next up, we're gonna start on the eyes. We're starting the exact same way with a magic loop, except this time you're gonna put in six single crochet instead of five. And for the first round of the eye, you're just going to increase in every stitch. That just means that you're gonna put two single crochet in every single crochet. That's gonna get you 12 stitches. Also, I'm not using a stitch marker here because I'm crazy like that, but feel free to use a stitch marker if that would make it more helpful. Next, you're gonna do two plain rounds of single crochet, or if you're like me, you can just count to 24 because it equates to the same thing. After your two rounds, you're gonna fasten that off and then you're gonna make a second one. Except on the second one, do not cut the yarn because you need it. Now that you have two eyes, obviously you need to connect them. So first you're going to chain eight. I should note that if you want this to fit credit cards, you should actually chain 10 because after I made this little guy, I realized that he's a little bit small for credit cards. You can easily fix that. And then after you chain your designated number, you're just going to attach it by single crocheting into the first stitch or any stitch on the other eyeball. 
and then you're just going to single crochet all the way around to the other side. And then when you get around to the other side, you're going to single crochet in each one of the chain bumps. They're a little bit harder to get into from the back side. I had a little bit <laughs> struggle filming this part, um, but it's not that hard if you're not filming, to be honest. <laughs> Once you've single crocheted across your chain, you're just going to single crochet in the next available stitch and then go all the way around the other eyeball and then you'll see on the back side there's more bumps on the chain. So you're going to be single crocheting on both sides of the chain. So as you can see, there should be eight more little bumps similar to the ones that you went into before. And single crocheting on both sides of the chain just means that there's not going to be any gaps. Once you make it to the other side, this is going to be the new start of our round. And after this, you're going to single crochet five plain rounds of single crochet. <laughs> Now after you've done your five plain rounds of single crochet, this is where we're going to attach the arms. Um, I'm just kind of eyeballing where it needs to go. Just pick the two most stitches on each side of your little froggy guy. And all I did was I put the hook through two stitches of the arm and then I put it through one of the stitches on the body and just um, single crocheted two stitches together if that makes sense. And then after you single crochet through your two, you're just gonna single crochet in the next available stitch all the way to the other side and then you're gonna do the same thing again. For this project, it's going to be really hard to sew in your ends 
after the fact. So I just started doing it as I went. So those little um, pieces of yarn that you left for the arms, I just quickly put it on a tapestry needle and then threaded it through and pushed it through the arm and cut it off because it's not going to come out that way. Now that that's done, you're just going to single crochet around for five more rounds. Now it's time to add the opening. I decided I wanted to place it on the other side. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't know exactly why I did it like this, but it worked out, so whatever. Um, I just made a slip knot and then cut off my yarn. And then you'll see in a moment I make a slip knot and I attach to the other side. Um, if you're making the small version, I left 14 stitches for the gap, but if you're making the large version that holds credit cards, you should probably make it 16 stitches at least. Now that I've determined where I'm going to leave the opening, I'm just going to single crochet um, around to the other side and I'll meet you there. Now that we're at the other side, we're just going to chain the amount of stitches that we left for the opening. So for me that was 14. Now that we've closed the gap, we're just going to single crochet around for five more rounds, treating the chain as any normal stitch. And then after that, I'm just going to sew in a few ends that I missed. This is how I sew in my ends if you were curious. I basically just haphazardly just go into a bunch of stitches and try to overlap at some point and then cut it off. Sometimes I go a little bit overboard. Here I kind of went a little bit overboard, uh, but you get the idea. Then we're going to create our little froggy's legs and the way that I did that was just by eyeballing the furthermost six stitches on either side. Um, you just single crochet six stitches and then you pull it around into a circle and then you're just going to single crochet in around for two and a half inches just like the arms.
Now that your leg is long enough, all I did was make a slip stitch, take a tapestry needle and go back and forth through all my six stitches, tighten it, make a knot, and then I pushed the end through the leg and cut it off. To make the second leg, I just made a slip knot, attached it the way I did previously, uh, single crochet six in a circle again, and did the same thing. Now that we have two arms, two legs, and a body, um, next I want to sew on all the little details because I feel like it'll be easier to sew it on while all the gaps are still open. So next we're gonna make the eyes and cheeks. This part is really simple. You're just gonna make a magic loop and put six single crochet into the magic loop. Make a slip stitch and that's it for both the eyes and the cheeks. Then I just used the excess yarn still attached to the eye to sew it on. And then for the smile, I just like to take a piece of black yarn and then usually I pin it with a couple sewing pins and I take a needle and thread and I just whip stitch around it super tightly so that you can't see the stitches um, and that locks it in place. I'm sure there are different ways of doing this but I just find that this is the easiest and the best and you can really practice your hand sewing skills.
Then after that comes the task of sewing in your zipper. I don't remember where I got this zipper. I'm pretty sure it was off of some cheap, like, um, like when you buy new sheets and pillowcases, you get tons of those bags with zippers. I'm pretty sure it's one of those. So just any small tooth zipper is great. And then I just took a sewing needle and thread and I did a back stitch which is similar to a running stitch except it's more secure. This was really hard to film by the way because I could not really see what I was doing but I tried my best. Um, if you YouTube back stitch or you could just use a running stitch if you really wanted to but I think back stitches are super secure. So if you want a YouTube running stitch, that's what I did. And then I just went all the way around um, and made sure to add extra stitching and knots on the end where I cut my zipper just so that it doesn't fall apart. Yay, and now we have a working zipper. I'm sure there would be a way to add like buttons or something if you don't want to add a zipper you just got to get creative and then the last thing there is to do on this little guy is sew the gap closed so I just took a auxiliary piece of yarn um, and then I just kind of went back and forth on the stitches on either side and sewed it closed and then you'll see at the end I just made a knot and then um, pushed the remainder of the yarn through the leg and cut it off. And this is your little crochet pouch all complete. I hope you guys like it. I hope it was easy enough to follow along to. I try to make my tutorials as easy as possible. Um, and I hope you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see from me, leave it below in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those cool things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.